Damn. Yeah, my name's Lissa. I'm 21. I'm a singer, songwriter, and performer. Yeah, I just released something really dope, actually. Um, I released a single and I'll be the super, judge like, of that. dance, kind of pop hit, something to really get into the clubs and have fun with. So I'm excited to meet these grandpas. I'm excited to see what's going on. So. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this? This is so cool. This is kind of weird, heck? but. I mean, everyone's kind of aging like fine wine here, guys. Great job. This one has style right here. You look like, like Chris Rock. Hearing. Pretty eyes on this one. Some pretty eyes on this one. Okay, and we have this caring look right here. This is, this is cute. So, number one, what does your ideal date look like? Taking you to a nice restaurant along the beach, have some drinks, eat some good food, maybe get a little bit of dessert, then take you out dancing. Ooh, dancing. Yeah, I do like dancing. Uh, I'm the type of person who really likes like activities. You know, maybe go like rollerblading or like more extreme could be like skydiving. Might, might be a bit much for a first date, but something like that along those lines. Like I really like activities. You sound like an adventurous person. I would say my ideal kind of first date would be going to maybe a, a baseball game or you know a football game and just baseball is so hanging fucking out boring. And, and seeing the players and all that and, and meeting each other um, and getting to know each other. Cool, cool. Stand on this that. is so to funny as day. you're talking to me I'm just looking to at this, this old day. version of you right now. <laughs> it's yeah. really funny. I also enjoy music. I've made some so I would take you somewhere and grab something to eat somewhere with live nerd. music no, and a music, nice view. Music's amazing. You know that way you know you'll have something beautiful to look at as well and not just me. And not just you. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome, though. That sounds like a fun time. I love outdoorsy stuff. Um, I would love to walk like around the park or watching sunset with you. Um, I'm a trained dancer, so I can teach you dance. What kind of dance do you do? Do you Dougie. do like everything? or? Yeah, I'm a versatile dancer. I, I do contemporary stuff. I do hip hop. I was born and raised in India, so I do a little bit of. The real question is, can he hit the doggy, though? And can he do a mean nay nay? If he can't do any of that, then he's not a dancer. Indian class, uh, Indian okay, class. If you can do oh, you do. The jerk, That's the great. Nene. Yeah, some of my family does that also. I'm not great, so just being honest with you. Uh, I also love music. I love live music. Personally, I like like smaller, more intimate experiences uh, music-wise. So I'd probably like try to find some small, uh, like intimate show that we could go to at a cool bar, grab a drink, and watch a show and just talk. Okay, sweet. So when we actually get to this age and we look like this, where do you want to be with your life? Like, where do you see yourself? Two Let's billion in the count. 30 years. Two billion I in the count. I definitely see myself jet skiing around the Bahamas, but also yeah. having, like, running a multi-million dollar business. Yeah. Having a few kids, probably like four. Being a family Twelve. man is, like, one, one of the most important things for me. That was cool. I like that answer. Yeah, jet skiing is sick. I was just, you know, there's a soccer mom, but it's like baseball dad or, or your football dad or something like real, that, right? And real, uh, real. <laughs> just kind of enjoy life and, and then, you know, as soon as I retire, just to travel the world. Sounds like a good plan to me. It sounds dope. Right. Number four, you liked a lot of your fashion. Are you going to have this fashion in 30 years? Like, where do you see yourself? Yes, I'm going to be similar to my grandmother. She's one of my inspirations. She seems to be very stylish at her age, so I plan to do the same at my age. I just want to support my family, so I'll have a business by then, or at least through pursuing my modeling and acting career. That's a great plan. Um, it's cool that you're into modeling and acting, you said. That's pretty cool. I really hope I could find someone to spend the rest of my life, and I love kids. I'm really good with kids, so I, I, I really wanted to have a family. Oh, that was very Come here. Cool. Yeah, I think that was a great answer, I'm too. I'm going to touch you. Yeah. Sucks. You're weird. I feel so bad. You're Ooh, weird. Um, I'm going to have to say for this first elimination, gonna the last one. I'm going to go with number three. And I'm really sorry. And it, uh -huh. I think it's because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with sports. I just think it's not the center of my life right now. And it is what it is. <laughs> hey, what's Hi. going on? Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate yeah, no it. I'm worries. sorry. Oh, no worries. Yeah, that's kind of my life. So it's like no, it's a little bit about me. So. Exactly. Yeah, Yo. Nice to meet you. Oh, no worries. Yeah, that's if you've ever seen uh, One Tree Hill, Nathan, he looks like Nathan if he was old. If you see it, if you look closely, you can kind of see it. That's kind of my life, so it's like no, it's a little bit about me. Exactly. So, yeah, nice to meet of you. Of course. Have a good one. You too. Well, this next question is kind of funny. I, I'm obviously a singer and I perform for a living I and I sing. just wanted to hear. I want you to sing anything that comes to mind that you would want to sing for 10 seconds. And I'm not judging you based on your voice. Tombstone it's mainly like, what are you going to sing for me? <laughs> so, start with number one. 
thing. Okay. So I'm not a singer. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But I am a guitarist. I love music. I grew up playing the guitar. Um, this one's for you. Send me your location. Let's oh my God. focus on communicating because I just need the time and place to come through. I should really hit Heck that song. Yeah. Send me. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, that was good. Well, no, yes. No, I the no, whole I studio is applauding right now. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that one. So I'm a huge, like, Keshi stan. I don't know if you know Keshi. Yes, yeah. Um, Kesha? I, I'm not the greatest singer and I also kind of have, like, a slight sore throat. You know, it might be an excuse, but uh, here it goes. So. It's just you and I, and no other guys. We got no interruptions, and we just feeling the vibe. <laughs> that was Sorry, good. That, that like, was, you like to get I wasn't that, that yeah. bad. <laughs> no, I, mean, I love how awkward and funny this is. Like, it's making. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good. It's better than some people. Seeing something original. Let's go. Oh, he's about to hit that hook. You say that you love me, oh, girl. No don't me. look surprised. I asked for the truth, but you still tell me lies. In action, She's doing the wrong dance for this. In words don't pretend. This isn't the first time that I let you in. Wow, those were lyrics. <laughs> Lyrical genius. Number five, um, you can sing anything you'd like. <laughs> I didn't grow up in America, so uh, I've been listening to Indian uh, songs. So maybe I can do a Hindi? Yeah, I'll do a Hindi yeah, song. Yeah, I grew up with that too. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> This is good. Oh, and don't know. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> with the old boys. You gonna get fucked up. Really oh. meaningful song out yeah, that's uh, for meaningful. you. That, like, that's meaningful. That's meaningful. Honestly, I, I really that built that my life saying. upon this song when I heard it probably back in like middle school. It's Friday. Friday. Yo, this dude just hyped that down down. on Friday. What? Everybody's he just hyped that shit looking out, bro. forward to the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they have that Thank shit you up. so much. I she's a, she's a wonderful beautiful. artist, so I'm not gonna lie. So. She is. Rebecca. I mean, it changed my life. Thank you so much. And you're like, well, now cut someone. That's He's so gonna cool. take out a. Uh, no, not two people. Two. I think the I person don't know that I'm help. going to eliminate, but still be homies with. Oh, definitely the last one then. It's definitely, um, it's gonna be number five. I told I'm you. I'm really sorry. That's uh, the last hi, one. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm really sorry I did that. that. No, 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 no Thank you so much. Which part of like India are you from? I'm Indo-Caribbean, so I'm from Guyana, but my family's from Madras in India. Oh, Madras. Madras. You know way more than I do, <laughs> but thank you so much. Yes, they're a good option, so don't worry. You're so sweet. And you were a great option. Oh, thank so, you. period, point blank. Take Thanks. care, bye-bye. Bye-bye. He was so nice. Okay, for my second Indian elimination, I'm gonna go with well, admit, at least. number one. I'm going to eliminate, and I feel really, really bad. Hi, Dude, how are Isaac. you? Good. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. I'm Isaac. Alyssa, nice good to meet to you, you and thank you. No, no worries. I understand. Yeah. I get it. How did I say? Yeah, you too. You got Isaac, boy. You got that shit on. Um, so my next question is going to be a little deeper. How do you feel, number two, about getting older? Honestly, I'm a little bit scared because, like, even right now, I think I have pretty bad posture. So sometimes, like, I wake up with, like, cracking back and it's, like, pretty bad. I try to, like, do the whole skincare thing, too, to try to, like, Same. stay young, all that. But, you know, just trying to live my life, not regretting anything. That's good. Aging is a little bit concerning, but I think my hobbies and everything will keep me young for sure. And I do look forward to like getting better with age as far as like getting wiser and you know just passing on to the younger generation, just mm. being someone that they can look up to. Mm. Yeah, it's an experience that just makes you yeah. prosper as you get older. Great answer. Just recently, I feel like I'm actually kind of excited to. I feel like getting older is just like more of a chance to become like yourself. I don't know, I like look at all the adults I look up to in my life and I'm like, they're sick, so like, I just get to become more like that, you know? For sure, I think so too. Um, so something I'd like to know about you is, what are your like green flags and what are your red flags? I think one of my green flags can be that I'm pretty reassuring, like I would never want to leave someone in the dark about how they feel or like if they're having some sort of insecurity about something. Aww. I'm gonna tell you from my perspective what goody, I goody, think, goody. but there is no judgment. And if you have something to share, then I'd love to hear it. The red flag I think is as like a performer and as a perfectionist that I am, 
I totally overthink because I want to have the best outcome and sometimes it's about like going with the flow versus planning every single thing out. So. I totally feel that. I feel like I'm like pretty similar in that sense as well. <laughs> Those are my little flags. My question for you is just, as a performer, how would you like to affect people by your music? I love Sorry. having stuff and no, seeing stuff childish. that matters and childish. I want to convey a really, really truthful message and honesty towards men and women who are listening. I don't want to just drive it to women. I think like men deserve to feel, women deserve to feel, but they also deserve to have a good time when they're partying and they're going to a concert. So God. I want everyone to feel their most authentic selves when they listen to my music. That's my goal. Yeah, it's I really like that answer. That's a good answer. I can relate to that like you're, going through my gay. creative process, like through modeling and everything. I think of it as like storytelling. So every time I just want to tell a story and have people relate to it that way. That was a cool question actually. So thank you so much. And I like your answer back. So. Mm. Last number six, you can go ahead and ask me whatever you want. Yeah, super important question. Uh, explain to me the process you go about making your playlists. Making a play, like a personal playlist? Yeah, like on your, hopefully, well, I mean, I guess you could use Apple Music, but hopefully on Spotify. Question hopefully on Spotify, my guy, exactly. There we go, okay, okay. Good. green flag. Green flag. If I'm trying to feel really confident and really in my element about certain things, I'm gonna probably go with something that's a little harder. Like, I like Kehlani, but then I'm like, oh, this ASAP Rocky song is gonna be on the playlist for this one. Young boy, like, If I'm going Michael to the gym and nothing's Bradley. hitting, then I'm looking for stuff that's really motivating. Well, so you do it for like moods, moods kind of? Moods, exactly, yeah. 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 I guess you sort Blake of Griffin. understood what I was saying before yeah. I could, so that's Zina. great. What about you? How do you make your playlists? I have like seasonal ones that I do, like I have like quarterly ones that I do, but they all like kind of embody a mood. My playlist names are all like run on sentences. I don't know why that is. But then I do like, then I have like sub, I'm really into playlist making. So like, the, I love thinking about this stuff. But then I have like sub ones that are for like specific moods. Like the most recent one I just started was windows were meant to be open. And it's all just like songs I'm like driving with my windows down too, you know? That's so, pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah. It's a good playlist, follow me on Spotify. Same for me, dude, let's reciprocate. Let's follow each other. <laughs> um, yes, I think I will be eliminating Ooh, number two, and I'm really sorry. Because Damn. you mentioned a lot of really Damn. fun stuff, but you also mentioned rollerblading, and I'm gonna fall on my face, and I don't know if I'm getting back up, so that's really it. No worries. <laughs> Oh, Hi, how are nice you? you? Thank you. You're so sweet and thank you so much. Good grab, boy. I appreciate it. You're so kind. You're super, super kind. What do you think about the long hair? Should I get rid of it at like 50? No. Oh, you I make your long hair? Okay, okay. 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 Um, <laughs> who is it? Somebody from a. Uh... Damn. Who is it? You gotta Thank keep you. your style. Yeah, I'll check out your like music sometime. You know, in your yeah, content too. Alyssa Ragu, like the sauce. All right, we'll do. It's everywhere. Thank right. you so nice much. You. Uh, she kind of had me sweating with the whole like singing part. I was like behind there, I was super nervous. I had like no idea what to sing. I just like don't really sing in front of people, so that was a new experience for me. I think the next person I'm going to eliminate is going to be number. Is gonna be number four. I met four. It wasn't anything personal, though. I think you're great. So I thought four no was thought. three, so I'm, I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Yeah, thank you so much. And your style is so great. Appreciate like, it. You, you too. You are so nice. dope. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, that dude is beautiful. I'm glad I didn't scare her off with this picture here. When I'm that age, honestly, I don't really want to be that different. I want to still be myself for the most part, take care of all my grandkids and stuff like that, spoil them. This is the kind of thing that my grandparents gave to me. You know who he looks like? I am ready like, to meet my uh, winner, Michael and Jordan. I want to thank everyone for being so when sweet. When he was younger. Not at all. He doesn't look like him at all. Hi, oh, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. We should Spotify blend. Yeah, Let's absolutely. see what our percentage is. You know Let's do like? that. Yeah. That's the, where the real compatibility starts. That's where the real compatibility starts. Melissa, what do you think of this photo? How do you feel like it compares? There's some differences, but I thought that was kind of like, it's I mean, pretty similar. Really? It was pretty similar. I really I hope love... I don't look like that. <laughs> Stop, I'm sorry. It's gonna be really okay. funny. I hope everyone laughs with me and not at me. Good night. Good night. 
she's kind of popping though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not convinced we're gonna have that many wrinkles. Maybe that's just my youthful bliss. Thank you. I think he's really cool. I think he's actually really, really sweet. I like how honest and kind his persona is. Like, we can be all macho and dope for that outer presence, but he seems like a really down-to-earth guy, and I think that's mm. cool. I think it's pretty accurate. Mm. That looks like your mom. No, this probably looks like more my dad, I'm not okay. gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>